Hey, hey, hot tubbers, man, is it hot outside? And the last thing you wanna think about is actually using your hot tub. But I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks in this video that's gonna make you wanna use your hot tub even more. Did you know that if you just get your hot tub down to about 98 degrees, it will actually help cool your core of your body temperature and it'll actually give you some relief from this heat. And it's just been crazy hot out. And one of the things that I promised you guys in the podcast this week was that I was going to do the ice block challenge or try to get the ice blocks into the hot tub and see how, how fast that cooled the hot tub off. And it did work, but I'm going to tell you, I was a little disappointed in the results, but I do think it's something you need to try. And let's just kind of take a look at this and see how this actually happened and what actually happened with my hot tub. It did take me a few days to actually do this because of course I had to freeze the gallon jugs and then I had to wait for the hot enough day and all the good things. Here in South Dakota, we are we are a part of the heat dome right now, but nothing like some of you guys are seeing. We aren't seeing the 115 degree heat. We are definitely seeing we're in that 97 degree heat and that type of thing. In fact, when I actually did this, I think it was about six o'clock at night and uh, it was 95 degrees out and there's a screenshot and then it felt like 97 with the humidity. So not crazy, but definitely hot. It was, it was a crazy thing to do. So let's go over here to the screen share and I'll just kind of take you guys through the whole process of everything that happened. So here is Frank and he's just taken the gallon jug and he is filling that up. Now if I could give you guys any advice, the label on there, you can, you'll can you see it later on. I didn't do a very good job of getting the, the label off of there. But you want to make sure you get the label off of there and you get that jug really clean. So once you do that, then the next thing we did was we actually put it in the freezer. I mean, you guys don't need to see all this, but it was pretty simple. Uh, we had an extra freezer around the house. We put it in there and now uh, it, this worked and we had it in there for a couple of days and it was frozen solid. So that worked incredibly well. And so we had a good thing of ice to put in the hot tub. And then this here, that's my starting temperature. It was 101 degrees in the hot tub when I started. So that's where we started. It was 97 degrees outside. So if the ambient temperature is hotter than 101, it's going to take that water temperature up with the hot tub. So I wasn't actually warmer outside than the hot tub was. So I was at 101. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to turn the temperature down on your hot tub. And this is what we were doing here. Now I actually recommend this time of year to actually actually turn that summer timer on and I'll link a video on how to do that up here but you just want to turn your temperature down if you're going to be doing this you don't want to make your heater work harder so we turned ours down to about 87 and then you also want to have your summer timer on but that's that's what we did there and then very very simply we just take the gallon jug and we put it in the hot tub now you're going to see that it floats here that solid ice at that point but you can also see the label on the hot, the milk jug I ended up leaving this jug in the the hot tub water overnight and it didn't peel off but I could really see that if you end up leaving that in there too long that it's actually going to become a, a major problem so try to get that label off if you can and we'll kind of see how that how that works but you just I put it in there and we let it do its thing so then we waited about 30 minutes so after 30 minutes the temperature was still 101 so that's where we or I we dropped down to 100 degrees so we only dropped one degree in an hour and that's what the heater turned off. I was actually quite disappointed with that. I'm going to tell you, I really thought it was going to do much better than that, but we really only took it down to down one degrees in 30 minutes. And then I did check the milk jug at that point to see if it was all melted. There's still about three quarters or about a quarter of it was iced yet. So I put it back in and let it do its thing. And then I waited about an hour. And then after an hour, you can see the screenshot that I have over here. The temperature outside has had dropped down to 94 so it was actually cooler out and the hot tub did cool down to 93 degrees at that point so we're down to 93 um you don't need to see how dirty my hot tub is there so after an hour the hot tub had gone from 101 down to 93 degrees that is doable that is kind of where i wanted to get to it just it took longer than i thought my recommendation if you guys are going to try this is i would actually put two or 
three gallons of milk, or not gallons of milk, gallons of, of frozen water in your hot tub when you do this. And I think you'll get there much faster. But the trick is definitely to get the temperature turned down on the hot tub first. And it is a good time to turn on that summer timer. That does make a difference there. Again, I'll, I'll put a video here on how you guys do that. But it is a cheap, inexpensive way to get, you, get your hot tub cooled down. Again, if you only get it down to like 92, 94, that is a cool enough temperature that that is going to actually cool your core and you're going to get some relief from the heat. It works. You're still going to use your hot tub. And the best part about using that block of ice, you're not messing with the water chemistry in any way, shape or form. Those of us that are on a salt system like I am, if I add cold water to the hot tub, it would cool it down faster because I'm adding more of it. But it's also going to jack with my hardness and my pH and all the things that I work so hard to get perfectly in line so that my salt system works fantastic. So if you want to not do that, that's a quick way to do it. Just take some old recycled milk jugs, fill them with water, put them in the freezer, and then just have them ready to go when it's a really hot day and you need to cool off. It's a good way to do it. Just think about an hour in advance and I think you're really going to love it. So hey guys, I think you're the absolute best. Make sure you watch this video right over here and I will see you next week and thanks for letting me help you become a happy hot tubber.